Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Media. In this video, you are going to learn how to install Server 2019 on a virtual machine using VirtualBox. So previously, we installed VirtualBox, going to the virtualbox.org, and then downloading and installing, and we created one virtual machine, installed Windows 10 on it. So let's go ahead and create new virtual machine. So we can just simply click new. Let's call it Windows. Server 2019 and let's select Windows Server 2019 default directory for the virtual machine and then next let's select the amount of the memory let's say 6144 so 6144 megabytes gives us 6 gigabytes basically every 1024 megabyte equals 1 gigabyte next let's create new virtual hard disk create I'm gonna go ahead and use VHD as a file extension for the virtual hard disk next dynamically allocated next let's say 100 gig create so this is our new virtual machine that we just created the operating system is not installed yet we will install operating system next but let's say if you want to rename this we can just simply go to the settings here we can say, let's call it server 2019. Okay. So this is our server 2019 and this is PC one, our client virtual machine. Okay. Let's go ahead and install server 2019 operating system. For this video demonstration, I'm using the 180 days ISO image eval edition from Microsoft. Let's go ahead and for example, if we type server, 2019 eval going to the Microsoft website here we can download Windows Server 2019 180 days evaluation edition and I did select the ISO image and downloaded the ISO image the VHD automatically already installed and gives us the VHD file but the ISO is the actual installation disk basically as one single file ISO image file so we can attach to the virtual machine and uh, do the installation. So already I did download the ISO image. Let's close this one and let's attach the ISO image to the virtual machine. We can just simply select the virtual machine settings and then going to the storage, selecting the disk and clicking here, choose create virtual optical disk and then add selecting the ISO image where we downloaded or where we saved it and then open making sure it's selected here and then click choose and click OK now let's double click or just click start it will start server 2019 virtual machine and it will put from the ISO image this environment it's known as PE pre-installation environment it's basically booting up the virtual machine to the stage that we can do the operating system installation. We have this GUI graphical user interface and we can install the operating system. Okay, let's click install now. And I'm using the 180 days eval edition, but of course after 180 days, the product key activation is required. So for now, I'm gonna say I don't have the product key. Accepting end user license agreement. Next. And this is brand new virtual machine. So selecting custom installation. And here, if you want to create multiple partitions on this VHD file, we can just simply highlight and click new and type the amount of the partition size we want in megabytes, right? So I'm going to go ahead and use one single partition as the entire size. So I'm going to just say cancel, making sure this VHD is selected and then click next. It will basically create one single partition, format the entire partition and install server operating system. So let's click next. And this will go through the process of operating system installation. Okay, so as we can see, server operating system installation finished. Let's assign the password.
for Ctrl Alt Delete, we can simply click Input, Keyboard, and use Insert Ctrl Delete or Host Delete Key. That's the key combination for the virtual box. And the Host Key is the right side Control. So on a keyboard where we have a space bar, we have Control to the left, Control to the right. So we have to hold Control to the right. So Control plus Delete Key. If you press Control Delete, applies to our physical machine. So we have to press the right side control plus the delete key or simply using input keyboard and this one and then type in the password so it's automatically using the NAT configuration let's say yes by default obtaining IP address and this is an example of server 2019 desktop experience edition installation with the graphical user interface and let's install by clicking devices, insert guest additions. It should run automatically. If not, we can just simply go to the start and then type this PC. And then going to the DVD and then running the installation. This is a 64 bit edition, so I'm using this one. Next next and install and we have to restart the virtual machine again right side control plus delete key and then type in the password okay so as we can see right now mouse doesn't get stuck inside the virtual machine because we installed by clicking devices insert guest additions we installed this okay now let's go ahead and click on server manager and uh, we can click configure this local server and here for the computer name for the IP address if you want to set the time zone we can perform this post installation task and configurations and by default usually when you log into the server it should load server manager automatically so here under manage server manager properties it seems that already selected do not start server manager automatically at logon and it's kind of grayed out again I'm using the 180 days eval edition so after 180 days the product key activation is required and as we can see by default it's using the NAT configuration for the intranet connection which in the next videos we will talk about how we can create internal networking and using static IP address between the virtual machines so this was an example of how to install server 2019 on a virtual machine using VirtualBox thanks for watching if you have any question please leave it in the comment section and if you want to see more tech videos like this please subscribe to our channel thanks again and have a good day